again, everybody. Once again, I'm back out here in the tiny house. I've been out here for a little while working on it and uh, doing a few things, just just little jobs. And uh, the kitchen is about, the countertops and all that is about done. Uh, I don't have a faucet yet. Uh, Got to wait to get that. And uh, let's see. The vent hood, the microwave vent hood. Uh, well, you can see the microwave under there. Eh, I'm not going to use that one. Because, uh, that's really, I really don't like it. <laughs> uh, it's not, uh, it's not what I thought it was. But anyway, let me, uh, spin the camera around here and I'll show you what all I've been doing. Okay, so you can see the kitchen looks just a tad different than what it did before. Got a few things I've done. Uh, for one, I did put a little latch here to hold these closed and that hits this door so that this door holds this one closed. Yeah. But there is the inside of the cabinet. I didn't paint the inside. That's fine. Um, I got these little wire uh, shelves. We'll use those for now. I may put regular shelves in it, but I kind of like the fact that I can sit something a little taller right here. And then shorter stuff right here. And also, I can get more of these shelves. And they can kind of stack on top of each other. You just have to kind of bend this a little bit. And it will kind of lock in. But I don't know if I'm going to fool with that. I may just end up putting a shelf across. But, but like I said, I can, sit tall, I can sit taller stuff over here. And you will notice, I did go with the two door design um watch this uh, yeah that way it holds it shut it was kind of hanging open before but uh i could put just magnets on it but i think i kind of like the, the little match um same thing with the other one it's done too and i got another one of those little wire shelves in there and it works. It works. I'm pretty satisfied with it. And it's a little different trying to do that with one hand, but oh yeah, I did round out. I rounded off these corners because uh well that one got my head once. <laughs> I bent over here and hit my head with the corner of that and it kinda hurt, so I ended up rounding that out to make it a little smoother if you bumped your head on it. Um, I stained the backsplash and I put some clear coat on it. I still need to run a coat of silicone down, but I want to wait till the clear coat is completely dry. I also, well, I just painted the inside lip around the sink. And you can see where I put in, remember how this was all cut, uh, cut crooked? I did cut out on the table saw a little piece and glued in there. And it turned out pretty good. I, I kind of, uh, well, you can see it better on the front here. I took the sander and I kind of beveled this edge. I kind of like the way that that turned out. I think it looks okay. It's just kind of beveled so that it, uh, Kind of just goes a smoother transition into the countertop. But that does work. And also, you can see, <clears throat> I've got the backsplash back here. I still need to get some metal to go around here. I'm not going to put any trim up until, uh, well, also until I figure out what I'm going to do for the vent hood. Um, but until I get my metal up, however high it's going to go, because I'll continue my trim up from there or my, yeah, once I get my metal up high enough that the principal reason for doing that, uh, to me is, uh, for splatters, grease splatters and stuff on this wood, because I think a splatter of grease on this wood is going to show up like 
uh, well, it's going to be impossible to get off. And it's going to be like a little spot on there that'll be there forever. So what I want to do is I want to cover this whole area with metal. It will also, if this burner gets hot, you know, hot enough, it will also keep it from burning the wood, which I don't really think it would ever get hot enough to burn it, but better safe than sorry, I think. Down here, you can see I got that trimmed around there now. And you can pull this whole thing out. And yeah, it's not a real beautiful box, but it will work. See, I can put pots and pans in there. And I didn't want to make it just a door that I opened because it would be hard to get stuff in and out because you have to reach back underneath it. This way, you can pull it all the way out, get what you want out of it, and then it just, the whole box just slides back in there. Just like that. So I think that will work just fine. I, it, just like I said, I really didn't want a drawer locked in and I didn't want uh, a cabinet door to open and have to reach way back in there. I figure also, got some cast iron skillets. I'm gonna hang them up here and they'll be available for use and also they will be displayed kind of. I think they'll look kind of good like that. Oh yeah, with the cabinets. I also found some of these little uh, wire holders. So I've got these on here so that I can like stick stuff in there. I still, of course, don't have a faucet yet. Um, and what I want to do is I'm going to um, bring my lines up and I'm going to kind of box this in, maybe kind of have it at an angle, like down like that. And maybe even take this backsplash off so I can go back farther and kind of box this area in and use this area as a race for the plumbing to go up to the faucet, which will actually be kind of different. It will be mounted in the uh, windowsill. One benefit I think that's gonna give me is I've got some bigger pots that barely fit under the faucet normally when it just sticks out here. So if it's up here, it will give you more room to fit stuff in. And also that gets it out of the way. So when you have your little cover in here and you're using it for just countertop space, you don't have the faucet in the way. You can just kind of fold it out of the way. Or actually, I guess, if you wanted to open the window and fill a bucket up outside, I just kind of come up with that. But if you wanted to fill a bucket of water up outside, you could just open that window, swing the faucet outside, turn it on, and fill the bucket up from the kitchen faucet, and then swing it. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably work. Hmm. Okay. Okay, something else that I've been doing, and this is not going to be the permanent charge controller. I'm going to get one probably like I have in Zephyr. Uh, this is not an actual MPPT controller. This is a cheaper controller, a PWM controller, and um, it is not uh, not a real good controller, but it's what I have, and it's got my little battery charged, and I just got one little, uh, it's not even a deep cycle battery, it's just an old car battery, just so I can start hooking up my DC stuff, because when I hook it up, I want to be able to test it, so I need, like, it's no car battery, but it'll work for now. Till I get some deep cycle. And what I have done, um, I was going to go all the way up and go out the ridge and come out where the solar panels are going to go. But what I've decided to do is I ran the wires straight out the back there. And let me show you that in the back outside. Okay, so back here I've got my solar generator. Um, and it is just hooked in and running up. You can see the hole through there. I still have to get a, uh, a piece of PVC. Uh, probably get an elbow or something to go into there. And I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll just run the pipe up the roof. Leave it laying on the roof. And... Uh, 
That way, if I ever need to maintain it or anything, it will be really easy. But I'm going to leave a wire hanging out here because once all this construction stuff is over with, I'm going to put some gravel in here and level all this out. And I'm going to park Zephyr right here because Zephyr has 600 watts of solar on top of him. And I don't want to waste that. You know, I don't want to... I mean, it sits there just charging Zephyr's battery most of the time. And I would like to be able to use that on the house too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to park Zephyr back here and have it so that I can just plug in Zephyr's solar panels into the house right there. So I'm still getting use of those solar panels too, along with the solar panels that are going to go on the roof. That way I'll have an extra 600 watts for use in the house because they're just sitting there and uh the only time that i really use them is when i use zephyr so this way i can use them all the time and they do tilt they raise up and down so i can align them with the same as these are like right now these are aligned but i can't there's not even enough sun right now as you can see the sun is right in that area. You can't really tell it, but it is. So I can't even use my little um, indicator here. Y'all remember my little indicator that as long as there's no shadow, which there's no shadow right now because there's no sun, but <laughs> as long as there's no shadow around this, uh, you've got the panels pointed straight at the sun. I can't even use that right now because there's not enough sun. But this is just set up to... Try to figure out. I know I need to cut some trees, but uh, this is just set up to figure out my electrical or my DC electrical system. I do have the wires running in there. They're going to that charge controller and then they're dropping down here down into a battery. And the battery's on the inside. I haven't vented it yet. I need to do that. It's pretty important. Um, but it is just barely trickle charging it. Let me show you. Okay, but in here, the battery is charging. Uh, it was at exactly 12 volts when I put it in here. It's up to 12.6 now. Um, that battery is probably not any good, but it will be enough so that when I hook up my DC stuff, I can test everything and make sure everything's going to work. Um... In fact, I could probably test out the cigarette lighter plugs right now because they come from this fuse panel right here. And they go to the cigarette lighter plugs. Some of those wires go to the plugs. Some goes to um, some goes cigarette lighter plugs. Some goes to the uh, where the lights are going to go. So, it's a, kind of a mixture of all of it. But yeah, it's a start to my solar system. Uh, like I said, I am going to upgrade this charge controller. This is not going to be the permanent one that's going to stay in here. I'm going to get a better one. I'm going to get an actual MPPT one. Not one that says it. Not one that just says MPPT on it. It's not an MPPT charge controller. <laughs> if you check the voltage right here. It's exactly the same as what the voltage is here. It's just a switch. It just switches the power that comes in. It just switches it to the battery when it is at a certain voltage and it turns it back off of the battery when it's not. Because it started off at like 30 something volts and that's dropped down to 12.6, which is because it's charging the battery. But anyway, it's something to get me going anyway. Oh yeah, you may notice above my head, Above my head here, oops, above my head there, you may notice there is an LED light fixture, and it is hooked up to the switch. I put that in after I got the kitchen pretty much uh, built, because I really didn't want to see while I was building it. Um, I don't know why I actually did that. But uh, it's kind of like I didn't really want to see what I was building until I got it done. So it's kind of revealed to me just like it is to y'all. I don't know. Um, 
But of course I had this one in here the whole time. But <laughs> I just now put the one in the kitchen. And that's where I've been spending most of my time working at. <laughs> you seem like it seemed like anybody with any sense would put the light where they're working, but you know, I'm special in that way, I guess. But anyway, I guess, I mean, there's not that much more that I've been doing. Um, just pretty much piddling around. I've been actually um, not re ready really to reveal it yet, but I've been working on a website and... Uh, Actually, I've got a couple more websites I'm going to start. Um, just just some stuff I'm playing with. Um, I'll reveal that when I get everything going. I've got a lot of content to write for it and stuff. But anyway, that's been taking up a lot of my time. But I have been coming out here working, and uh, it almost looks like i got a kitchen now. Anyway, I guess that's probably going about do it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.